Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks and feet and preparation combined The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small acts Jesse Ryan representing for I just star mindset Rich forever Blessed love, honorable family, one for greet the item in the divine name of his imperial majesty, Emperor Eel Selassie I the first, Empress Menin the first, Holy Manuel I, King Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari one more day above ground and as we know life is our ultimate position, not no greater than that no matter what I go on, alright so warm welcome it's beautiful um you know it's a beautiful day and you know we have something very positive and hopeful and you know insightful you know and informative for the item today um you know it's something that we see been taking place and you know a lot of ones have different perspective and you know what we see happening at um the bubble camp bubble hill um the ethiopia africa black international congress which you know i am a, a member of and today we have um two honorable um empress from from the ethiopia africa black international congress and woman liberation league Zane. So it's um it's a great honor to introduce to the I Empress Honorable Empress Marina and Honorable Empress Esther to the mindset program. Blessed love, Honorable Empress. Blessed love, my lord. Blessed love, my love. Honorable, honorable. Do give thanks. Um, I must say it's a great honor to of the item here and on the platform i must say manners and respect to the item as um two two mothers you know two mothers that um that's been all in it you know as two honorable empress um in the order of melchizedek so i want to say manners and respect to the item and it's a great honor for the item taking the time to be on the platform and to share you know with the world at large give thanks my lord thanks rastafari <laughs> um just want to start off with the i um honorable empress marina um <laughs> what 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 led the eye to 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 the movement of 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 Boba Shanti, what 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 draw you to 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 King Emmanuel? Yes, uh, my lord, you are correct to have phrased the uh, question in that way because I came to Boba Shanti. I had heard um, Rastafari culture before, um, you know, but it had never um, re really it had never grabbed my attention. When I heard Boba Shanti culture, I think it was 1979, 1980. Um, it, 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 it gave me pause. I stopped and I, and, and I, you know, it, it caused me to think. I had never heard um, such powerful reasoning before. Man of right is God in flesh. Mm. I mean, it is the greatest lesson I have learned in my life. And to this day, it stands as the greatest lesson. I've never wow. heard anything more empowering, more uplifting, more inspirational. And I'm saying, wow. You know, and then when we learn that the culture promotes empresses mm. regardless you know regardless regard the rasta woman regard black woman as empresses yes i said oh my goodness this is exactly for me 
and so on. Uh, <laughs> because, you know, I had always, um, growing up, my, my uncle's wife had always referred to me as Queen Majesty. Wow. Anyway, she was trying to be, yes. And so I said, but wait, but here is something that actually says that I am. And so, um, yes. And, and then, you know, I heard the message and, you know, the peace and love and living in, you know, in harmony and unity and, you know, eschewing the ways of the world and, and holding on to a higher, you know, a higher power. And I, I said, well, yes, absolutely. This culture, um, it held, it grabbed my attention and it has held it throughout the years. Rastafari. Just, it, and it continues to hold my, um, my, my, my attention. Give thanks. Give thanks. And, and as the, the, I say, you, you had known Rastafari before, you know, um, Rastafari culture. Yes. From afar, not intimately, not intimately from afar. But as I said, it's the discipline of Bobo Shanti. It is the power in the message that I was hearing. Mm. As I said, man of right is God in flesh. Woman of right is goddess. You know, em, you know we are regarded as empresses, queens and goddesses. Um, you know, and then the discipline, the way, the, you know, the, the, the order. I like the order. I like the, you know, because people always dismiss Rasta as, um, you know, Dr. Rasta and, you know, things like that. But then the Bobo Shanti man. You know, always clean, always well put together, always have, you know, shirt in the pants, turban properly tied, you know, all of that. And I was like, wow, yes, I like, I like this. So when, 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 what was your first experience? What, what was that like when you, you went to the camp the first time for yourself? Well, it was a bit of a culture shock. Um yes you know the, the the you know living in the, in that way i had never lived in that way before you know sort of you know you know sort of meager living yeah but um i don't know, lack of a better term it was sort of um streamlined let's say and so i was yes exposed to a completely different side of life and um it was it was it was an eye-opening experience but i liked the harmony I like the unity that it promoted. I like the fact that the empresses, you know, we well, we had the opportunity. I did not initially. One of the things that I found a bit um, was more difficult to embrace was the twenty-one day principle. I must admit that was quite um, difficult. We, you know, we, are, you know, the empresses are sequestered for the twenty-one day um, period while they are going through, you know, their their monthly cycle. And then for 14 days, days afterwards, but it what it did in the in the long run is that it well first of all it promoted um birth control it promoted um you know it, it kept it, I I think that the 21 day principle in and of itself whatever it was designed to do one of the things that it did do was to um keep us disciplined and it and it forged a a, a bonding and a relationship between the empresses where whereby we had to rely on each other mm. in a way that we, maybe we would not have had to rely on each other had this principle not been in place so it um it really um forged a relationship a close bonding between us so that we, we were, you know we were helpful very helpful to each other in every way possible rastafari so that you know that within itself it it it, it creates um even a more what would i say a more intimate bond between the the the, the empresses and empresses absolutely yeah we're right and that's to this day to this day that's why to this day listen sister dorit sister Mary, sister esther sister lily sister martha you, you understand mm -hmm. we we are all whether or not we are in touch with each other we all understand each other even if we don't speak to each other for a very long time um you know the, the, the bond is there we, the we know each other we know each other in spirit all right um honorable empress you, you um i know i did not outline from early but you're also an an attorney right yes um yes. what wh what is that equivalent to um here because i'm here in the uk is that a barrister or a lawyer uh, 
Yeah. Well, well, here's the thing. I know that there's a distinction in the UK between, mm. um, you know, attorneys, you have um, solicitors, yeah. and you have barristers, yeah. right? Well, um, in the United States, it's all collapsed into one. Okay. You can go to court, you can do transactional work, and never go into court. Or you can go, you know, you can do transactional work as well as going to court. And so, um, yes, yeah, so there is a... Um, there is a, a you know reporting requirement in the United States. You have to register. For example, I am admitted to practice law in New York. I was also admitted to practice law in New Jersey, but I gave that up because um, there's a reporting requirement and you know annual reporting requirement mm -hmm. where you have to pay a certain amount of fees and I have to maintain an office in New Jersey. And I really was not generating enough work in New Jersey to warrant that extra expense. Okay. So I allowed my um, my bar admission in New Jersey to lapse. Okay. And I focus entirely now on New York. But I'm also admitted to practice in the federal courts throughout the United States. So although I'm in New York, and New York falls under the second circuit, I can practice in any circuit. And because I do immigration law, and immigration law is federal law, not state law. It's not dependent on the state in which you live. Mm -hmm. It's federal law. So that if I have a client in, and I have clients all over the United States, right? In Florida, in Arizona, in New Jersey, in Connecticut, wherever. I have Florida, I have um, clients all over because as I say, immigration work is federal law. And I am admitted to practice in the federal courts throughout the United States. Okay. All yes right. and I, I do run a thriving i run a thriving practice in new york and um I, you know I, another time i will um, go into details as to what that entails because mm -hmm. people may say what is immigration law how much work is that really but you would be surprised there are 36 different areas of law in the united states under the U u.s legal system and immigration is one of the most complex areas of law and judges have said it time and time again because it looks it looks deceptively simple on the face, but it is anything but that. And as I said, at another time, when we have more time, I can go into I can go into that and explain some of what the work entails. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Serious, serious work. Serious work. Yeah, I can imagine. I can, I can imagine, man. Seriously, yeah, I can imagine. Um, right. So, the the the, the current situation that um is 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 dear now you know i know the eyes are aware of um of what is happening talk to me talk to me about um your relationship with with um with with empress sharon before well as you said you know mm -hmm. You know, the, the Congress has been plagued, I may, may I even say bedeviled, by one tragedy after another. And as a consequence, the name and the reputation of the Congress, they have been severely undermined. Mm. So what I wanted to do was to weigh in, in order to see if I can provide another perspective on the matter. And in doing so, maybe able to help in repairing the breach. So, but let me first, as you ask about Sister Sharon, I want to express my profound sorrow at her death, which was under rather questionable circumstances. And you know, my Lord, it was only a few months ago, earlier this year, that Sister Sharon had reached out to me through Sister Dorrit to say that she hadn't heard me or hadn't heard of me in quite a while and she just wanted to send some love and heal me up. Yeah. And you know, and I sent love, I sent back, you know, to her, you know, love and blessings and all of that, not knowing that this would, was per, perhaps her, her her goodbye tour. Mm. I mean, you know, perhaps there was some foreboding. Perhaps she sensed something, but she reached out to me. And, you know, we hadn't been um, sort of in touch or communicating for a few years. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, uh, you know, out of the blue, she just reached out to me and said that she, she really wanted to heal me up. And I, I'm grateful that we, you know, we contacted, you know, it, it is so... Mm, it is it is quite emotional it is quite emotional my lord Matilda. and then to um compound the matter no we we you know we, we are we are now faced with the disappearance of one of our most beloved and highly esteemed priests honorable priest headley 
this is a source of deep sorrow for me because I admired and respected Priest Hedy so much as a husband, as a father, as a strong defender and positive representative of Rastafari culture. You couldn't ask for a better individual. You know, I, I am proud to, to, you know, to, to be called a Bobo Shanti, knowing that I, you know, I'm in the company and in the midst of Priest Hedley. He is, you know, I mean, you know, it is so funny because a few months ago I said I was going to reach out to Sister Esther and say to her, let us start recognizing the brethren there. In as much as we can criticize them when they err, let us recognize them for the, for the stance that they have taken, for the things that they have done. You understand? Yes, when they sorry. stand up and defend it and, and defend the culture and do the right thing. We need to recognize them. You know, long standing members of the Congress. And I don't want to I don't want to veer off course too much, but um, mm. you know, at some point, as I said, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to liaison with um Empress Esther and let us find a way as to how we can recognize our brethren and you know, sh you know, shout them out and Hold them up to the world. We want to be talking about Priest Fliegel, Priest Campbell, Priest Knuckles, Priest Nappy, Priest Itafa, Priest Kailish in St. Lucia, Priest Richie in St. Lucia, Priest Paul in Ethiopia, Priest Isaac, Priest Glass, Priest Bonnie, Priest Turks, Priest Dreadcraft, Priest Dean, Priest Desmond Brown, Priest Dada, Priest Kelvin Ogaro, Priest Danny, Priest Imsley, Priest Courtney, Bobo Greg, Prophet Benton, Prophet Ray. The, the I, my Lord, Prophet I just star. We have to start. We have to start recognizing our brethren. We have to start giving them props. As I said, in the same way, we can chastise them when they when they have done wrong. We must recognize them when they have done right, and you know, true. And 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 um, you know, show them some love true, in that true. way. True, true. Give thanks, yeah. Mama. Yes. Yes, give my thanks, Lord. So, so there it is, as I said. Um, but despite all that has happened, all the negativity surrounding the camp, surrounding the Congress, I am here to declare that the principles of the Congress still stand and that those principles are righteous, they are unimpeachable. As I said, notwithstanding the bad behavior of some members of the Congress. And and then at, at least and our <laughs> it seems as though we have um we have gotten in, 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 in you know, we've formed an alliance with some people, some very nefarious people. And uh, um, I want to address that too, you know, because here it is, we're facing a crisis. And there's a saying, my Lord, Honorable um, Prophet, I just started, there's a saying that you should never let a crisis go to waste. And this is a crisis. We're in a crisis and we're going to use this opportunity to do several things. Number one, we're going to examine ourselves seriously mm -hmm. and our behavior and recognize how we have contributed to the lawlessness and the lack of respect that we know get us rastafari as Boba shanti as black people the lack of respect that we're getting from the people who they they, they, they bad man them so to speak quote unquote bad man gunman that live at the foot of the hill mm -hmm. or just in general through jamaica there was a time when rastafari garnered so much respect that you know certain things didn't you know certain things didn't reach us because we carried ourselves with integrity and with righteousness and uprightness but clearly we have violated our own rules we have violated our own code of conduct so now people don't feel compelled to give us the respect and accord us the deference that they once did True. because they realize that we are just we are, we are engaging in the same bad conduct like them there was a time when Rasta, we were known, and I don't want to be, I don't want to be partisan, but I remember several years ago, a woman, I was trying to explain to a woman, many years ago, maybe about 20 years ago, you know, Bobo Shanti, and I have a Bobo Shanti, and she was saying, Bobo Shanti, she said, Rasta, and we said, yeah, well, Rasta, Bobo Shanti, but in particular, Bobo Shanti, and I was, like, you know, describing to her, you know, sell the broom, man, them wear a robe and the, tur and the turban, and this, and then she said something to me, you know. And I'll never forget it as long as I live. She said, oh, the decent Rasta that you're talking. And I was hesitant to sign on to that because I didn't want to give her the impression that only Bobo Shanti was decent. So I said to her, well, all Rasta are decent. You understand? Which is and right. And then she said to me, she, she, and then she said to me, 
yeah, man, Christian Rasta them. I said, well, all right, if that is how you understand it, I, you know, I can live with that. If that is how you understand it. But what I'm saying, so how did we go from being the decent Rasta them to becoming associated with murderous, sort of unrighteous, mm. you know, mm. behavior? I don't understand. So we need to we need to reclaim our, our, our dignity. We need to reclaim our righteousness. We need to reclaim our position. And I'm not just talking about Baba Shanti. Because this affects all of us. All of us. True, true. And I don't want anyone to take... I, I don't want anyone to use this opportunity to create mischief and divisiveness among, you know, among us. Because that's not what I'm promoting. I've never promoted that. Nor would I ever promote that. So in the same time that I give you know, say shout out to our Bobo Shanti brethren, we can also shout out Rastaman to outside of Bobo Shanti, such as Rasila, Ras Marcus Goff, the Jazmat George, the Jazmat Quasi, Dr. <coughs> Ras Dean, Bongo Wisely, Ras Flacco, Bingy Sean, Bingy Glenn, and of course, you know, the Honorable Ras Ivy, who does not love Ras Ivy? I mean, Ras Miguel Lorne. Daddy Bosco, you know, Ras Aswad, Ras Kofi Asante, Ghana, General Tonto in South Africa. So, I mean, you know, we have men standing up and, you know, advancing this, this culture and this principle. And I'm not saying we, we're not talking about perfect people. We're mm. talking about sometimes some deeply flawed people. True. You understand? And we have to take them to task when they err. But at the same time, once again, we must also recognize any good that they do. And acknowledge it. Mm -hmm. We can't. We cannot be selectively moral. You understand? Yes, I just, totally agree. Yes, we can't be selectively moral. We have to call out ones and ones when they um when they err, and then at the same time praise them when they do when they do right, because nobody's entirely per nobody's entirely good and nobody's entirely bad. It is very rare. I mean, I'm talking about black people now. <laughs> um, you know, I will. Yes, I'm talking about black people. You don't have any black person who's entirely bad. So, um, but That's let me get on to the next point I want to make. Yes. If I'm talking too much, my lord, let me know if you want to. No, man, no, man. Go, 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 yeah, go ahead, man. The, the floor is there. <laughs> Specific question. So I said, all right. So the first, the first thing is this, right? So we have to get to ourselves. We have to set ourselves right, right? We're going to use this crisis to reset. To me, but we need some fasting and praying seriously. To get ourselves back on course because we have veered off course we have given up our status we have gone from decent rasta now to mix up in uh, in, in potential murder and or you know with, with murder and, and and things like that and um but at the same time too on the other side of it the second part of this equation is to reach out to the gunman them the bad man them, right who live in the surrounding areas mm -hmm. right i have and i know i've heard various proposals being bandied about about how to deal with the situation and one of those proposals is that we should respond with violence or by employing our own bad mandate this is absolutely preposterous it is disgraceful and it is acceptable unacceptable and completely antithetical to rastafari culture mm -hmm. no we do not engage in violence thank you as i said i have heard talk about that being you know, politically aligned are, you know, that promoting certain things. Well, perhaps I was I was absent from, from those classes. But the lesson that I learned in Baba Shanti culture was peace and love. It was a hymn book and Bible way. And it was a, re a sound rejection of politics. So, um, and, you know, I don't know if that had changed course in his later years or perhaps he had em embraced an, a different course in his earlier years but as i said what i know of, of emmanuel charles edwards and the eabic it is that it was the hymn book and bible way and it was peace and love i never heard violence advanced or promoted so, so under no circumstances can i empress marina endorse any proposal that would result in the killing of black men or raining down violence and those and, and those um we believe to be responsible for what has been happening upon the foundation are you kidding me this is the exact opposite of our mission of our goal of our objective 
we should be showing those we should be showing them ways leading them out of their <laughs> their errors the, the errors of their ways true that is what we should be doing we shouldn't be trying to um you know take take, take vengeance and take revenge in, in a way that no absolutely not that promotes the killing that would result in the killing of more black men we don't kill black men mm. we don't kill people we don't kill each other and we especially don't kill black men because the system is doing a good enough job of that already you understand yes, you know what the, the murder is in jamaica mm -hmm. up to this point in brazil in the favelas of brazil in chicago do you know what do you know what the murder rate is how many black men die on a daily basis and we no want to contribute to that no our job is is this right we shall they, they shall beat their swords into plowshares and spears into pruning hooks and let us paraphrase and say rastafari shall not lift up sword against violent black people neither shall we learn war anymore isaiah 2 4. our job is to teach show them how to beat their swords into plowshares mm -hmm. and their spears into pruning hooks not to go take revenge against them in a violent way we are the exact opposite of that redemption is what we are about true and i don't know my lord perhaps i'm being naive but my understanding black supremacy in righteousness of salvation yes, the right what is it that makes us what is it that you know our supremacy comes from our righteousness right we're not supreme because we are better educated because we have more money because we have more options like you know we have certain privileges we are supreme because we are righteous we do not engage in the bad conduct that others may engage in we are rastafari whether we have maya bingi bobo 12 tribe ewf whatever we are righteous people we live above the, ab above the free you understand so people must see our righteousness mm -hmm. i took over a long time ago and i said i would never do anything to make my husband ashamed to make my, uh, my children ashamed to make the woman's league ashamed to make bobo shanti ashamed to make rastafari ashamed to make black people ashamed you understand yes, sir. i must be alive people must look at me and say what's a rasta woman mm -hmm. you understand me mm -hmm. my light must shine mm -hmm. in that way true you understand if that's... so um in as much as we're all aggrieved you, you understand and broken hearted about what has happened to our beloved sister sharon and our dear esteemed priest headley we are not going to resort to violence in trying to, to get restitution or whatever retribution because we are wise and conscious people we are rastafari and that is not the message w right that is not the message that we send to the world no moreover we want to speak directly to the so-called bad man them the gun man them we need to speak directly to them and my lord i think it is the empresses i think we can do that better than the brethren them we want to speak to them and it's once again it's ironic because i was going to contact sister esther some time back i contemplated it saying let us put out a letter from the women's freedom liberation league and let's let's address the violence that is taking place in jamaica in general long before sister esther, before sister sharon um you, you know was killed i said we you know the women's league need to take a position and address maybe write a letter get it published in the newspapers in jamaica to reach out to the to the to the, to the young to the youths because the government is not going to do it and who else has the moral standing to do it i mean the church can try to do it but you see christianity cannot help young black men it, it can't help black people period anyway so here's what we must do we must we must reach out to the young black men throughout jamaica and in particular those down at the foot of the hill who you know have um sort of launched violence against us on the on the on, on bubble hill we must make them know that we understand the relationship between poor schooling severely limited life options and the subsequent self-destructive choices that they make we understand their hopelessness we understand that they're desperate and so they resort to violence and criminality we know that poverty is not evidence of moral decadence 
or a deficit in character. Poverty is evidence of a deficit of resources based on policy choices made by the government. We want to tell them that we understand their plight, that they are frustrated by racial injustice. And as a result, they have created an alternate society, excelling in ways and in skills designed to outsmart an oppressive social order. We want to tell them that they are honorable people forced by circumstances to do dishonorable things. We, what, we must, what we must understand is that we want them to understand that we understand that more crimes have been committed against them than any crimes that they are alleged to be committing. And that is true for, in general for black people. All the time we see statistics, the U.S. is great at this, quoting statistics about black and, you know, black and criminality and black and black crime oh, black and crime. all of these things. But it, yeah, but you must put, you must put facts into context. Why are black people killing black people? We are not, we are not naturally more violent mm -hmm. than anyone else. Mm -hmm. The circumstances have been created, mm -hmm. right? There's the die has cause. been cast. The die has been cast. They have set this up. They have set up this, this, this you know, the circumstances that will produce exactly the, the kinds of results that we are seeing where black people, oppressed people, frustrated people, hopeless people turn on each other because they don't know what else to do. So we are not here to indict the, 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 the man, them, the bad man, them, although they must take some personal responsibility because they're harming their own race. You can't kill black people. You cannot. The system is doing that in uh, doing a good job of that. Wonderful job. When you kill black people, you are advancing white man's agenda of the extermination of the black race. When you kill a black man, you leave black women helpless and black children vulnerable and helpless and at the mercy of the system. So we have to su we support black man. We love black man and we especially love the rest of man there. And we will ride out with them and we will protect them. And we, don't, we need them to do right by us. We need black man to do right by us. And we, are, we, and we have always done right by you. And we will continue to do so as wives, as empresses, as mothers, as sisters, as daughters, as grandmothers. We will continue to do right by you. And a lot of times we are angry with the Rasta man, not because he's like every other man, but because he's not unlike every other man. And we had expected better. You understand? So, yes, but in an event, with respect to the youth, once again, I want to repeat that we are not about to indict black man. We're going to indict the oppressive social order, which provides the underpinning for the self-destructive behavior in which these people um, engage. So while we understand, yes, personal responsibility is, is, us, is in it. But we must understand that the greater responsibility rests and resides with the state, with the government, with the system. You understand? They create, they set up the circumstances for us to feel and when we feel, they point to it as evidence of our, uh, of our um, criminality, mm. of our inferiority. But we are not cursed. We're not cursed. Black people are not cursed. Not that, that's what they like to tell us. We're not cursed. We have been robbed. We have been, we have been, we have been enslaved. We have been colonized. We have been robbed. We have been oppressed. That is why we are behaving. They create the, they create the weather and then they complain that it is raining. They set it up. You, you, you understand? Yes, the sir. system is rigged. And we understand that because we, as I said, we are conscious people. Mm -hmm. So we understand that we. It is our duty to impart to, to the young um, black black men in Jamaica. It is our duty to impart to them and say we know what is going on. We, we see it. We, we, you know, we, we know the rake. We catch the rake. We know what's going on. Mm -hmm. But here is how we have responded to it. We are you, and you are us, and this is how. We are poor, we are marginalized, we are oppressed, and we are dispossessed, just like you. Mm -hmm. But this is how we respond to it. 
we respond to it in this way. Rastafari culture, it is the antidote to, to, the, to the violence and self-destructive behavior that so many young men, black, young black men, engage in. One of the things that Priest Campbell always remind me of, he said, Dada say, black people innocent. Let's remember that, my Lord, Prophet Aija Star. Black people innocent. So we are not going to go down the hill and, and kill nobody or rain down violence and terror on anybody. We're not doing that. We're not promoting that in any way. Not we want to time. talk to our, our sons and our grandsons. The Empress voice is needed in this. We need to take the forefront. They will listen to us as mothers and wives and daughters and sisters and empresses and grandmothers. They must listen to us. We are not promoting violence. We understand the societal forces that have driven them to a life of crime and violence, of self-hatred and self-destructive behavior. And we want to say, come into the folds of Rastafari. Come into the bosom of Rastafari and find healing. Because when you know who you are, when you know your rich African heritage, your royal lineage, you will live your life with dignity and purpose. Rastafari, we live our life, we carry ourselves with dignity. We stand above the fray. We do not join it. So, my Lord, that is my perspective. That is, how, how, uh, that is my view on the whole situation. We have work to do, my Lord. We have work to do. Perhaps we can yeah. hear from the Honorable Sister Esther. I'm a talker. I'm a talker. So, um, <laughs> Rastafari. Honorable Empress Esther. So, yes, Honorable yeah, Empress. My Lord, blessed Lord. <laughs> you didn't need me on this. Lord, God, Marina, I've said it all. Yes. Oh, Sister Esther. <laughs> but in, in, your own, in your own unique way. Let me tell you something. Yeah, I just are. Uh, I don't know how much you know Sister Esther, but it's a powerful woman that. Yes, sir. Is a power, is a powerful. Let me tell you something. I don't go to. I, I can't go to battle and fall asleep. No, that sister Esther Lee the, is at the helm. Is a powerful warrior. That let me tell you. She have some powerful warrior woman. Sister Sister Martha is another one too. <laughs> you have some powerful woman. But may I tell you, sister Esther Lee, the crowd, she lead the pack man. Yeah, man. Yeah, we are. 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 Yes, Happy yes, New we have royal Ethiopian sons and daughters, both at home and abroad. I and I, King Celestia, I, ja, Rastafari. Blessed love is an honor and a blessing to be in the midst of such honorable family. Yes, Royal Empress Marina Blake Esquire. And honorable prophet the eyes a star glorify this platform. Yes, my lord, and give thanks for having <clears throat> I and I this morning. Yes, so we yes, give sir. thanks for the Sabbath gone through still, you know. I will give thanks, you know, for another week, you know, ahead of us. Thanks for all guidance and protection going out and coming in on our several duties. Yes, it's back to school time now, and you know we see all of the things them that happening on Earth right now. So, and I pray for the guidance the people is them going to and from even the carriers, the taxis, the buses carrying them to and from. Most of all, we give thanks to the mighty, you know, Triple Crown Monarch Emperor Haile <laughs> Selassie. I, and our Royal Highness Empress Bazora Menen is on Her Majesty as we celebrate Ethiopian New Year today. You know, we all remember and 
happened to I and I and how we celebrate this day and also the other, you know, celebrations from that time till this time. Most mighty. Holy Manuel I, Celestia Ija. Blessed love, my Lord. Your <laughs> time. Honorable Empress. <laughs> yes, Honorable Empress, give thanks. Is that Anna? And a privilege, you know, as you know, as I was saying to the honorable empress earlier, you know, I, I, you know, the empress, them is some empress that I, I hear about in the Congress, you know, I've never met the item, but um, is is the, is the first time I'm gonna be speaking with um Empress Marina, but I've, you know, I've I've spoke with the eye a few times, you know, um, past, you know, past time, you know, so. I give thanks for you know having the eye here on the platform um that the I can share your um your 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 honest thoughts and you know what's been happening and you know how how you see we can um we can we, we can change things you know are 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 you know get back on on the right track then you know and what empress uh, marina was suggesting is that you know is the the empress them need for really you know speak with 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 these virgins who are you know gunman and 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 bad man so you know if they i want to you know pick up from this so because it 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 left hot right there so you know so as the empress said there is a buckle axe and weapon in us so Yes, my lord. So, uh, you know, continue on that, you know, situation. Well, I can tell you that, um, first thing I'd like to say, I know Bobo Shanti living while I was living in Kingston. Yes, at Marathon, Marathon Drive, UN then. Yes, I live amongst um, um, 12 tribe brethren, Orthodox brethren. Yeah, and there was a ball ball field behind the yard that I live, and so they always love for reason with I and I family. Come, my mother is kind of roots. This woman said where she wasn't Rasta, she's a roots, and our house from I am I was growing always open to the horse, the dog, the thief, <laughs> the good people, the Christian, <laughs> all kind of people. We all have to prepare for ones passing through that are in need. However, the bubble was bubble shanty was passing through my through my um district one day. Even though I didn't know I, I was like a a black power woman. Me always uh, you know up with Marcus Garvey and me, me, me always glorify Malcolm X um and militancy yeah and other you know patriarch from them time there so 12 tribe was one of the um foundation or group that i always visited when them having their celebration because that is where and there is where i learned much of what is you know utterances and speeches and me always love that and i always love to see the sea of red gold and green tom mm. man or woman clad you know in, in such you know uniformed manner but there was still something that to me was missing which was you know because me I come from Babylon world, eat all kinds into, you know, parties and karate show and dance and all of that. So, and even the whole drinking and thing that, you know, when you go party, I drink a beer, or, you know, whatever else. Well, me never really know the hard drinking still, but when I went there, still miss that certain things then still was doing and I was looking for something different, so. Mm. When the bubble passed through you now and then them, we let them in and introduce themselves where they're coming from they are. So it was most intrigued. My my mother, 
my little sister and my brother, you know, we always entertain them. You know, and so we see the man who come through with the broom and we call him in, stop him and buy a broom and then him start reason with you and I tell you that you know say you are a queen, you're a princess, a, a beautiful black African princess and if him can reason with that so yes, we have a reasoning, you know. But we always look forward to him coming back. I always I tell I and I that I and I, you know, find such consciousness in our black consciousness in ourselves, you know, and and hold on to the right and the same culture as Sister Marina said, man, man of right is God in flesh, man of right is God is in flesh. And True. they told me about this man who they said, you know, he was the Moses of our time. The Christ of our time, Moses in the, the wilderness, you know, Christ in the mountain, you know, and reminding us of the beyond the attitude, you know. Yeah, and you know, that kind of strike something in the eye and I where I say, Wow, Moses is there, Christ is here. So we say we have to come see this man. So for three days we're trying to go to Bobo Hill. And the people them stop me down at the big tree down a parade there, across from uh, that, that theater there, Ward Theater. This is what this is what you, what year? What year is um, this? That was in that was in nineteen seventy six. Wow. Yeah, nineteen seventy six, seventy seven. Yeah. So first thing them tell me, oh, don't go up there. These people are set up here people and no, if you will go don't eat from them mm -hmm. because what and what in a pot and it will trap me and all of that that was the first day second day at the same reasoning so the third day was a friday so i said me want go see for myself so i said barry off a bus down today so <laughs> i'm gonna go out the parade again and then with the same i'm gonna find out fine so me just bus loose and just going at the bus car all i was asking them which bus we must take for go to 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 Bulbie. So anyway, we went we we went uh, we bus to and, and and take the bus and go up. When we reach up with me and my children, it's like we leave a world outside, come into a new world. It as we reach inside, we are boom, 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 seven strokes at the jump, four corners of the earth. And we say, wow, what an experience. Everyone dressed in white. Psalms reading going through. And all of that saying, so, you know, that grabbed my heart back. You know? And my sister was with me also. And we say, you know, it's like we escape the danger. It's a narrow escape we make. Because people even physically want to move to us like them want to say, if we're crazy. I want to pull me to another bus, uh, you know, and I said, we must, we must go up there. So we went and, you know, we feel, we, we, we felt that, 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 it you like, know, need to be a part of what was happening. It sounds like it's some high you know, powers did that go on up at the hill, the man. Let <laughs> tell them, man, the breeze start blow and roll up, <laughs> like the dust start roll up and bubble, bubble, shanty yard, you know, is a well swept whitewash walls with it's up you know you know you're going to have pure flowers yeah see mm -hmm. when our flowers was a pure isops round and about the, the pack stone and the priest them are read the seven song four corners of the earth and you know here start come out with eye because even when them start said the decree it come in like a thousand ton to, ten thousand ton a thunder ball a clap and the angels, you know, chanting. And we did it, they go through the whole experience with them. And after the Sabbath now, so we went, we, we, they, they took us up, same, and one empress came down, came down and carry up to the quarters where we would be staying, you know, for the Sabbath and all of that. And the Saturday morning, here we go again, service, service. Sabbatical order, seven priests from the golden altar, four international guard, bridging them over one side, 
with the with the, the musician leading in front and the empress is over one side which i must say even a priest campbell went to ethiopia and he said when he went to the church in ethiopia it was the the same settings however when we when when the service began and all of that it was a learning experience for us we felt we felt God in the midst of us. God was in God. Jah was in in the midst of the congregation, you know. And everyone greeted us. Blessed love, honorable Empress. Blessed love, my Lord and Empress. You know, and all of that. And even before we went there, when we entered the guardhouse, what struck me also, we had was to take take out money and everything out of the pocket, and you know. If you have any like match anything on you, you have to take it up for Sapraya before even going in to the, the, the Psalms reading. You know? So on the Sabbath now, you know, that it was so it was a, a very strong spiritual experience. We found ourselves shedding tears and a praise ja, you know, and giving thanks that we made it here. It's a Africa a foundation to us from the moment we went there. I never went to Africa in this, time, this lifetime. But for us, it was Africa away from Africa. You know, Africa in Jamaica, like a city on the hill. So we got through the Sabbath and all of that, and everything was good. And then the Sunday morning that I had with us, we had ball a beat. <laughs> ah, you know. And uh, we are, when we approached King Emmanuel, he bring us in on the first priest house veranda that was there. Uh, I mean, bless us up and all that, that was me and my sister. And the man said, you know, you know, you know, Kada don't really have no accent like that. And I don't like him speak his speaking properly. And so you know, you know, Angel, it is a joy to see Israelite return. You know, and he said to us, "Him welcome us two sisters coming forward." You know, in this dispensation to be among our people. Same time the service done, I asked him it in two holy sisters were walking day by the right first time, singing and chanting. For us, God will provide. But the man did provide for us because we were seeking, we were seeking a, a, a different realms, a, a spiritual realms um, that surpassed what we were going through in in the world. I was even dancing on the earth. That more you have to dance on the earth. That, you know, in that same time, the man had, you know, so huge, you know, so in reason with the 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 you know I and I learned that what the Baba was telling us when he was in our community is just unnatural. Because reason with the man we can feel God strong. You know, yeah, the love the way we all to us. We to my sister. At the same moment, we are touching. And as we all on funny we hear all touch them. Your garments and thou too shall be free. The saving power is that what shall bring new life to thee. My Lord, the choruses and the hymns that was being sung in the tabernacle. God was just living above the tabernacle. It was exactly the same experience what we was going through. We were going through with the Father. Then we see one eye start shed a tear. So we say, I said to him, my Lord, we see the eye a shed tear. Why is it only one eye? You know, and the man said, you know, him glorify his Israel turn, you know. Turn Israel, turn, and put a righteous way of life, righteousness in, of salvation, exalts a nation. He said, Bring a reproach to any nation of people. We are welcome, we are 
are welcome three times. We are welcome, you know, welcome back home out okay. there. We give thanks. So I tell him that I want to come home and live. And I like to build my own house in coming home because I have children there. My Lord and everything. Mother and father. My mother, because my mother was living in Kingston. I left Montego Bay, my father and family, and live with my mother in Kingston. My mother said we look different. He said we look blacker. And he said there's a certain light where I must be. I put you through a forehead. What happened to it? I will start telling mother, give mother the experience. Of it. And I say, Mama, I go up, they go live, you know. Because we find joy, you know. I got that, you know. The man tell me things were, were, were only internal majesty himself. Could I know? You see? So we went back in, um, in to Kingston and we keep on going to Stabat. So we get our work now, more sure you Oh, 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 the wicked stay, our Pope stay. All the time in a town, my mother is a beautician, me help her in her shop. But me always seek for another work. So, dear industry can talk with, dear industry can to make cheese. So, then contact me and say, then want me to run a canteen here. No, this are the, this are the, the detour oh, where, you know, certain street want me to detour from my intention. Okay. We say we make you say tell them that my mother is more, more the person who can do it. So I would give that to my mother, but I would have sit there. So they should employ my mother, the woman that would run the industry canteen, preparing food for the people. So yeah. So within them time, then I you know me. I said, well, we all use this as my advantage because we can use the money there and help build my house. But help, you know, while helping my mother, preparing myself to leave. So we we'll find some start change now. Now you know no more pants. You know, mad. Has such a beautiful daughter. So well in a place and look so good. All of a sudden, in a long skirt. My God. Okay. 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 Yes, I okay. The eyes that one could get At first in a Babylon, I was a telephone operator. And then we go get this canteen for run. And then I move into the foundation in the 7th of February, 1980. Yeah, and it was like a quake. Me get quake up because Priest Miguel, who was the one who come in with reasoning from Dada to me in, at my home, he, he, I, I usually like send stuff to the camp. And then Dada told him, don't take no more from me, nothing more from me. Tell her to come in, escape the danger, danger that that is nigh. And... The danger that is now was that we get robbed, you know, a day after I got that message from King Emmanuel. Then some guys come in Poway, uh, uh, you and then, and, and, and my family, my mother was robbed too. Two of my neighbors next door was raped. The boy, them locked me up in the bathroom. And my sister and my mother was outside. They searched the house, taking, take, take away my mother money. They're going to my mother beauty shop parlor and them take away our money and um the only thing was left was like a trinket box with gold silver different jewelry and thing and they have the gun and my mother said them all oh, kill her and she have more money and all of that and my mother said the only thing he have she have because i could hear her from the van from in the bathroom is our trinket box and she gave it to them and the two guys them the three guys with them um, um kerchief over them face them leave with us without hurting us and while leaving they buck up in Dennis Brown for my sister was with Dennis Brown at that time. Wow. 
had a child for Dennis. And so Dennis passed them coming out of my yard because there was a ball ground behind me and um, they could walk through the ball ground, jump over our fence and go through to go down you and then um, towards Marvel Way. So them yell up Dennis and after Dennis come in and realize that we were robbed, yeah, he, he move on to the, the, the Marvel Police Station and that is another story. However, Reach Foundation now. Because Mrs. said that I was warning me to leave. But I couldn't leave then because I didn't have to really um, set up myself really to move. But after the robbery, my mother gave me half of her, her household and we moved up to Bubba, to Bubba Hill on the 7th of February, 1980. So when I went there now, my lord, everything was grand. Beautiful, Mr. Me Media, the whole mountain now, and feel good about myself, and everybody greeting us, blessed love, which I've never heard before. You know, I've never been addressed as um, Empress, Queen, Damsel, you know, um, Princess, and all of that. So everything feel nice, me and my children. I went there with three children. Yeah, one was six, one was three, and was one was ten months old. My daughter Nadia was ten months old, just start work. So um in march while being there me i rally move around the father you know see him roll call every man i was like a ser service angel because that was my joy my joy to be present at roll call in the morning six o'clock and um, 12 o'clock noon and six in the evening so that was my joy and i and me and my children because me coming there among strangers yet not strangers um there was sisters there and elders minister ministering to me like empress lily was my minister in angel she ministered me in empress um eljita morris who we affectionately call um empress menin she's a little short woman when she tied fear locks it's shaped like africa she was the general secretary at the time when i went there and so I worked with her because that had put me between Sister Miriam, Sister Lily, and Empress Mene. Yes, so I, 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 when I am free, you know, like after what 21 day multi purification principle, I would um, go with Empress Mene if Sister Lily is not free, or both of us, if we have same cycle and free at the same time, we would go on journey to heads of government. Prime Minister, Minister of Culture, Minister of Foreign Affairs, JBC, and all these different governmental offices and places, you know, bringing letters dictated to Empress Menin, um, Empress Eljita, and in letter form, carrying all these letters to these um, offices. So in March, you now, my lord, me up on the father place, and we are, you know, we the Empress always minister around the palace. Yeah, the empresses would go and clean and, um, you know, wash and do the laundry for dad and, you know, to the local um, empress duty around the palace. So one day I was cleaning. Yeah, we used them time there, red oak palm floor and coconut brush, which we never used to, you know, but I I was able to adjust, you know, because we had the a polish up. You know, plug in and boom, boom, everything clean and done. So anyhow, one morning, uh, kneeling on the floor and um, the father was coming through, you know, the, his living room. And he make a statement, he said, Sister Esther? I didn't answer because when I went up there, them called me Sister Pat, you know. And I didn't answer. And he, that I went forward in I'm eating room and then he come back out again. He said, daughter Esther, still never answer. This time now that I stop, and, and, and while he's passing, me have to stop clean. Because it's a principle, you can't sweep or clean. But it's a principle for me, if someone is passing, walking through my house, I'm sweeping or clean. Naturally, me that stop, make him go through. So that I stop there. And he said, which one of the names want, me want him to call me? And I said, my Lord, don't know it's all things. Though I know it, no, I from the womb of my mother. So anything the man said, it's okay with me. And the man said, later on, 
he will give me a word. So in the evening, come morning, noon and evening, or morning and evening, we would go and change the man basin, a basin that he used to break him fast, wash face, brush teeth, and all. Yes, Jah do that. God do that. Yeah, come man, I fright is God in flesh. And Rasta do that too. Uh, many people feel like say Rasta, so so so. So these are the 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 the, the, the pan as much as people were saying that the man are based now what? So these base now um covered with um a hard board is basins where the man with a washing face, brushing teeth and all of that are breaking fast. So we went in the morning to change all of that, fix up the, the um, um, straighten out linen, six fix bed. And then um, in the evening, we would turn down the bed and we would um, clean up the home sweet home lamp. And even though electricity was there, he always have a little lamp in his, in his house. So when I went back in the evening, the man said, you know, you know, Reincarnation bring back everyone to a father lineage and a mother womb. And he say, Esther come forward in this time. So I got the name Esther. So I got the name Esther. And after being there, coming up to March now, 23rd, when the league was formed, I was appointed as a leading empress, you know, of the Congress and the league and a secretary of the Congress, because Empress Menin, you know, she had passed. And um, so I started to assist the brethren, them that was in the office, working in her stead. Mm. So my Lord, the league was formed March 23rd, 1980. My membership in the Congress is as when the league was formed one month earlier february and the league formed march 1st march 23rd 1980. so to answer your question that's all you know i get the office as a leading that was that's that's the office that i occupied as a leading empress among other sisters who the father had after the, the, the league was formed we started to select empresses in offices. So we have Sister Marta, also known as Sister Taliba. She was secretary alongside Sister Miriam, Sister Lily. We have Sister I Ayopi as treasurer then. Yes, and we have Sister Miriam and Sister Velma. Well, Sister Miriam is still with us, otherwise called Empress Maisie and Sister Velma as leading empresses also. So I want to ask, what's the duty of a leading empress? No, we don't have no script or no no nothing set up with tea tree. Cause I first me are coming at this and on, you know, if you know who or what a leading leading empress is, it would have come out of eye and eye. So our duty is that we learn self taught learn as we go out the way is to you know seek out the needs of the free empresses because you have empress up there when you have no man like myself i was seen as a free empresses empress i have empresses with king man you know and so my duty was to seek out the needs of these sisters health whatever health situation i'm going through yes and what kind of assistance the father could i give them well, true, because, you know, before I went there, ones on ones was just going to Dada, bombarding the man, you know, all the while with situations, what them going through with them king man or, or sickness or with them children and all of that. So Dada never wanted that. So I felt that then why he gave me that office is for me to work with the empresses Bring Blessed love. Mm. Yes, honorable family. Um, right. To the father okay. and the mother, to the sister. And apart from that, if we desire and if we could have managed if i could have 
uh, managed the office work, I was also placed there also to strengthen the governmental works. And so I, for a while, learning the history of the Congress, you know, um, and, and, and what King Emmanuel went through in them days, from back a while days coming up and all of that, you know, that I told me that I should be, you know, I should work with the office. He said, I must come up, get up off of the floor. No more domestic work for me, which me love, because I love minister to the man and, and, and fix up in place and all of that, you know. So he said, stay in the office with the Virgin then, which I was among Priest Campbell, Priest Courtney, yeah, Priest Akil, Priest Way, Priest Eric from St. Saint, Saint Thomas. Yeah. Those brethren I was working among until when, well, I tell you the truth. It was in 1981 that these brethren came along with Empress Marina and our kingman, Priest Bud, who was also a, 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 a man that worked in the office through King Emmanuel, or work alongside Dada, because he was always ministering to King Emmanuel. So these brethren I work with in the office and governmental work, a lot of governmental work and delegation we went out on, you know. Yes, so that office as a leading empress, it cover, is all farm, all vibes, I cover all ground. You work on the ground at the Congress and you work on the governmental, you know, side of things, going out and delegations, bringing out letters, um, to heads of uh, national heads of government sending out letters to national and international government um concerning freedom redemption international repatriation my lord so we give thanks to them moments and i tell you this my lord to come on back up back from where where i should have started you said you see these gunmen them where 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 the plague we know and a pimp the camp these youth are when little baby you know, fit their parents, you know. Their parents used to come and get ministered unto from King Emmanuel, you know. I remember when I when I free and others will be taking fruits, banana, orange, you know, whatever fruits we have, seasonal fruits there there was. You know, them little money, bread, cause we bake our own bread, you know, uh, uh, do our own pastry, you see. So and Bubba's Spice are the nicest are the sweetest spice. Getting a banana from King Emmanuel. You're well blessed. I sweetest fruit never eaten in my life. Up to now, me not eat a banana. Sweet like what that I used to give me. Or an orange. You see? So them little youth here will come. We come minister money to them parents. We take that I take care of them. You see? Them never enter the foundation. Cause even though you ain't a bad man then time they are gone man. None of them wouldn't dare come in at the foundation. So what we see are going right now, upper foundation, I just folly, you see? Because them, the camp under siege, true, these youth grow up unruly because from back of all days that I say everywhere him go, the people follow him and always lodge at the foot of the hill. So most of them people eh, them family, then they rasta, but them family anyway, King Emmanuel go. Them follow him. You see? So for sure you, you know, how the man take care of his people. And not only in people. Black, white, pink and blue come there. You see? And that I always warn them and tell them, the love that you receive here, go back and tell your people. Go back and tell your people. And tell them we are demanding for them to let my people go. You see? Yeah. So this man, what him came and established among us as sons and daughters, Rastafari children. The man, the Bobo Shanti, when call us Bobo, who make I and I Bobo unto him. You know? The liberty what we see the man come with. This shouldn't even reach me. But then again, hear what the man say? Any, anywhere your army go. 
any anywhere the army go, Satan follow. You see it? And because we let down with God, God that I want we do the right thing. You know? Fulfill the our principle. Why I'm set, guys, a standard me go say. Then if I never standard, me wouldn't leave all when me leave go up there. You see it? We go see the standard set. Principles where we have to live until because Christ is a disciplinarian. You know? Yeah. Whether they want to say we are copy or we are we are we are take on to Babylon, Judea, Christianism, and all of that. I always see myself say, yeah, when we go to coach, when we go to Sunday school, go learn. In a real, and when we come live it and see other flesh, I live it. I so saw it become re a reality to me. So I say, oh, so are we, are we, are who them been talking about? Are we come forward? You see? And live this live. Live this liberty. You see? Yeah. That even with enemy come amongst we and couldn't hurt we in the time of King Emmanuel. Babylon come amongst we. Them stick up we. They lead out the empress, them out of house. They lead out every man and woman with King Emmanuel and crank up gun power. Take we out of the tabernacle and they still couldn't fire a shot. Because the zeal of salvation and the heights of spirituality were in stronger trunk in the yard. So just say, when we not do these things, when we not pull the principle, we give, give Babylon loophole. Even our own people to come in and rape and kill. Now back to the government of Jamaica and them folly and them ism. In nineteen in nineteen eighty eight, here I quote from an article, article of the Sunday Gleaner, March nineteen eighty eight, the constitutional rights concerning freedom of movement, traveling and repatriation, etc. Page thirty of the article. Jamaica Human Rights Record Record in 1987 State Freedom of Movement Within the Country Foreign Traveling Immigration and Repatriation The Constitution Provide For Freedom of Movement The Right to Reside Wherever They Choose and immunity to expulsion from the country on quest it is said there are no restrictions restriction on human rights in jamaica i hereby condemn this statement to be false that is king emmanuel voice as there are no human rights practice or being exercised among the political leaders and government in jamaica toward we the people of this black supremacy government for the poor and have not i hereby declare that there are restrictions on repatriation and violation of article 1 and 15 of the universal declaration charter of human rights here in jamaica where is our right to these articles our human justice and our freedom and equality to act towards one another in spirit of brotherhood and sisterhood as stated in article one all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and right they are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood and we go to article 15 everyone have a right to their nationality yes everyone have a right to their nationality and should not be deprived of such and have the right you know to return to such and move free freed freely anywhere they choose to be no one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his na nationality nor denied the right to change his nationality no our nationality as we all know is ethiopia the place where we're first birth 
we are here born in the west through slavery transatlantic, transatlantic slave trade now i'm saying all this to say that the government of jamaica who are signatory members of you know human rights according to them rest of them observe the universal declaration of human rights they have violated our rights on many times in many times and still doing it they don't recognize rastafari people rights king emmanuel have gone through so much with them and he has exhausted every avenue in agitating for freedom redemption international repatriation now from back of all days these are the same people who have them garrison set up them garrison call them tear down back a wall to build up tivoli and them have their little youth black youth them use them you know for against their one another well in a bubble hill bull be a go on no politician i use the youth them. likewise you have some some races yeah who want to take over said we i use them to do a whole portfolio of Bobo Hill. And inside Bobo Hill, you have ones that accommodate them too. So you have to say, we call it on for ourselves. Now, we know our monger. King Emmanuel said, gun is enemy to man. And if your father was there in this flesh, he would not incite no violence to go war, fight fire with fire. Because the man is a spiritual being in flesh. The man is a spiritual man. Where him no fight for him back them way there. And that's why I'm set up a foundation with principles. For he's a man of integrity. You see it? The man says on his father mission, he's on the king's mission. And another thing that I like put out there. We see we have some brother and sister out there in the bingy and other places some of them up till today day, them have we have because them say we say Emmanuel are god you see it when i went to the foundation the man carried a biggest picture i ever see of his majesty and i him carried that and show me and my mom because my mom come visit up there visit me up there and the man say my mother asked him in care of the black christ um portrait yeah, only black Christ in St. Alexander Alexander Church in England. And he pointed to my mom and my mom. He asked my mother, who is that? He said, that's the Christ on the crucifix in a black form. And mama said, yeah, you're right. Dada said, yeah, you're right. And Dada showed him his majesty picture. And my mother said, and, and he asked my mother, who is it? My mother said, is the emperor of Ethiopia, King Selassie. So mama asks Dada, so who him? Who him revere as him, God? And that's when he showed Dada the um, mother the portrait and said, this is in God. So certain erroneous doctrine where people have, we have, where some of us perpetrate. We need to stop it. The man said, man of right is God in flesh. Woman of right is goddess in flesh. So if you are not, if you are not our God, you are Satan. And Satan is. So Sorry. why will we are all the man saying that who him saying is? The man says a king, kingdom of Christ. When that are reason and we are saying, Are you Jah? Are you my Lord? And so. Are you God? That I said, then you're not God too. Hmm? Where Christ live. It's a kingdom of Christ. We are black. The black world is a kingdom of Christ. Yes, within a right. And we have to see that naturally in ourselves. And the works that him do, King Emmanuel. Yeah. So we are quote Bible, you know. He's not of himself, but of his father. Because we come come see our God, you know. We come see our we come we come know our God. All through the years from Sunday school, I'm sure we see a spirit. You see it without flesh, blood, skin and bone. You see it. That's why I say when I go to foundation, I see I come find Christ and I live a Christ life. 
what they when they teach me at Sunday school, because there was no reality in what they were saying. But we see, we can fulfill that above our ill. And we go out there in the world, and the way we carry ourselves, and we how we deal with people, and we how we bless people. Sometimes they mock up. Some mock, some jeer, some accept. So we give thanks to King Emmanuel. There's a sister a few days ago, after hearing what happened up at Bobo Hill, she came on a platform mockingly. I didn't know say Bobo could have called from Bingy the assist in what they are going through. They don't have their father, man. They don't have their king. To me, that's a backward reasoning. Wow. And Seriously. we don't deserve that mockery. So I have a bedroom to respond to her. Uh -huh. And then I went on and I said to her that, you know, you need to apologize for in this time and age where we as Rastafari nation, Pan-African people trying to build forward that unity among us within the communities. You come up with a backward talk. You need to apologize. So you see, my Lord, the more we are together, the happy we shall be, you know. Yeah. When Sister Emperor Sila I, Sila C, I came to Jamaica, you know, which me and one knife, I and I, really look into what the man has said. The man said, people him left in Ethiopia and the people in Kumasi is one and the same. People. Royal Ethiopian blood brothers and sisters. And there are vast amount of land for us to come home and inherit. Baba alone can do it. Bingy alone can do it. Twelve tribes, etc. Some tried and you see what happened. It takes all of us to do it. So... Uh we among ourselves are we letting gunman power and only bubble alone shanty house our headquarters these things happen to you happen now scotch park too yeah things happen it's only that true we were so proper according to some of them and uh, and we were such um one person so we act so holy same woman and all of that you know them now look for certain things for each we you know which I must admit, we have some Baba Shanti who move certain way too. Yeah. In them realms of that people couldn't speak these things. That's why it come back as a reproach for I and I right now. And as the only Empress said, we are not perfect. You understand? Which is natural. But sure. the, 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 the weird it set, the road it set, through King Emmanuel coming and the principles that him set would have that was what would have helped us on the road to feel forward to a perfection because then what is it what do you then? eh we're not perfect and that's an excuse and that's it we ain't born like how we born we ain't you know born in sin and this and that as all them attack tell we you know carly could be a be comfort what kind of sin him could have create or do eh so within a reality, as the man say, all were born, man and woman of right, and man and woman turn men and women. Because we got taken to other gods or jah, which we knew not. So glorify and give thanks to the works that King Emmanuel come put out. Glorify all elders that was around him from back a while. You know, the only thing I say, the elders should have cleared up their indifferences. And whatever they had among them, them days there. So that we, the younger one coming now, wouldn't get caught up in it and still a perpetrate the same, should I say, darkness or the same kind of animosity against our one another. You see? Yeah. Yes, sir. I, as a um, woman, I go amongst everyone. Live in Montego Bay when we can't reach Bubba Hill service, I go a pitch for it. I be all right with everyone. I have assisted. In whatever they are doing over there. The Coral Garden set a situation. There are times when we strengthen. Whether I'm going to use my transportation to help carry the victims or the elders. Or help set up banquets for them. Just like what we do at Bobo Hill. You know. And we know we are a family. We are a nation. And we have to live together. I've been on delegations with Osa Dredd. Um, 
Naya Bingi elders, Bongo Tani, Bongo Shefan, Rasilas, Empress I, I, um, Ifia, you know, um, Iva, IAV, yeah. And we did live good. When we went to Panama, Panama in 205, it was the Bobo Shanti minister in the Naya Bingi house. When we went to the to, to, to the Hispanic Rastafari reasoning in Panama in 205. In 203, in um, New York, Marcus Garvey Center, we were there celebrating. We were invited to try to Empress Men and Earth Day there. And we were we we we, we, we as 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 ones from different mansions, we do what we need for do. So no, no is the time for I and I to drop, you know, all easy man schism, you know, and come together. Every house need to clean up themselves. Yeah. And we all need to work together in a seat to make sure all these things that is happening to us. And demand the government of Jamaica, demand our rights from the government of Jamaica, freedom, where we are asked for. You know? Rastafari. It's no freedom, but freedom taken. We have to take with freedom now. And now. You no, see, I'm me not. all over the place, but I'll uh, uh, me, me tell you this. Even when you go back to the whole cannabis thing, we're going. I don't know what happened. Yeah. All of what happened, all the gun violence and the killing and something, are, oh, 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 it, it, it's, it's the government, the government of Jamaica, and them ruling because all these things. You see it? Are the government of Jamaica, are them because all these things, because them set the people, them picnic, teeth, and edge. And if the head of the stream dirty, the bottom door dirty. Mm -hmm. Me at 60, I me mean, never vote yet. Come come see my father and mother vote, I'm mean, gonna see what I do for them. The PMP and the JLP that divide us from the time of when Marcus Garvey went through the election and then take the people and carry them a veil royal, go feed them with rice and peas and curry cow and trick the people them, and lock with Marcus Garvey. You see, it? from them time they till no. Them of the people, of our people, our black sons and daughters, divided among themselves, killing off them one another. Every time election coming up, they are being paid to mash down them own people. Look what they do, King Emmanuel. Mm? Regardless of what one of say about Bobo, you know, King Emmanuel spotless. Me or Jaboni speak of for them days and what we do for what we know do. You understand? And what we now do? The man say, gun is enemy to man. Yet, me say the smallest man around the biggest gun. I defend him people. Mm. So you see, certain space and time, things will change. Things will change. And it will lead to certain things. If we, as a people, to who we know we are and where we're coming from if we don't go forward to what we know of our right and our magic our spirituality the heights of our spirituality can one shall taste a thousand two ten thousand by sudden fight we don't need babylon destructive weapon to go fight them because we couldn't what them have we couldn't even test my judgment you see because them have the biggest and the terriblest of weapons. You see, all we need to do is to build back that creation love among ourselves. You ever hear say love kill? That I say if you love them till you love kill them. Kill them with love. Kill them with love. So we as a people have to come forward to that first love of that divine creation love that created us. From that time till this time. Know who our enemies are. You see? Stop kill off your own brother and sister. Because we are one father and mother children. And until we see the gods or the jaw in our one another. Until we see that in ourselves. No say. The least you do unto this little one. You do it unto jaw. 
until we see all and know all these things and act accordingly in opposite from what we were trapped in and what we went trained by the colonizers to do you know until we get away from that before things come look here what we are trying to put together now you know if art uh, not clean against flesh malice bad mind grudgeful power struggle if them things they not eliminate from outer eye and eye we don't know where go come member a two i got a two vice now we god and satan now we where think satan live our god live almost i know flesh the spirit harass against flesh you see it are the flesh the spirit you see any yes, way you put it you see it? yes sir. so we whatever we give credence to if are the right thing or the wrong thing it become our god become whatever we are served so we have to go back in ourselves as the man say you know the depths so we we self have self and become greater than we ever was and i just say reach right you know we are speak his majesty word song yeah yeah but are we living it the man everything charted out for we already you know i just we the people to follow through we the sons and daughters of god because we're not all bad and we're not all good you know yeah but we are the ones who will come come who are we to god come what sky in our happen see the god in yourselves and manifest the work what we come for because we all came to fulfill a purpose there to be a daniel there to stand alone there to have a purpose firm and there there to make it known many mighty men have have lost healing not to stand but who for jah shall be an house heal to daniel born so we said daniel god jah rastafari sila king selassie i jah rastafari. rastafari we are the daniel and the daniel no we are the reincarnation souls come forward in a fashion this time to continue the work and if you're not fulfilling our time we have to build our children we take up this that it become a reality in their time that it become a reality in their time so now bobo and being one of the same level right you know you know none of we can say we also now want clean up so we forgot yes, empress up. Yes, sir. this is the time the time is now my lamb the yes, time sir. is now what we see are going in a bubble shanty house things are going in a other house i might not the same exact thing but it are going we need to clear up we give thanks to sister sharon's service with us for the 20 odd years yes and we glorify we said you understand how we said bubble for stand up now bubble shanty people we stand up now and put fear behind we you see it Mm-hmm. and search out this thing because it happens so and then get it all happen to another one and the police the state cause that i did say in 84 things going up in the camp and what we can't manage we must bring in the state so some man come to about one shouldn't go a police or this and that we are no gun factory up there eh? is there any gun factory above oil we fight back back back, back. man man has a man to stand up and man to protect this and that Put them protect with the what? Just so you can't burn the fire with you tonight, you know. So I found some man in the judgment to accommodate, to feed, and accommodate them. You just see it? You think them they go burn up themselves in the, in, the, in the fire? Them in the fire too. And the man say, man, the fed when, the, when, the, when the wing flap, you know, some loose feather go drop out. You see it? Mm-hmm. So for, the, for what then do the priests? Edley and whatever I'm to Sister Sharon, which I can't say much about Sister Sharon Cup to know then don't want to give away the autopsy is out. But they don't want to to, to, to tell me the result of it. No, how can you go and bury a woman and um and, you know get the autopsy? Something going up on the UFR that I did. So we know the autopsy is out. And why is it the community that you pass in? The information now, uh, them now, uh, them now uh, relate the information to them, even if it is the investigation as one of her family members stated. You see, yeah, we need for know 
Because them go out there and plaster Bobo and make Bobo look like the wickedest of the wicked. You see it? Murder and, and robbery at Bobo Hill and rape and this and that. So why is it? You're withholding the autopsy result from the world, from the people. People need to know. Um, Cause uh, you know, put a thing out there against uh, we. Honorable right? Empress, I pray yes, thee. Um, mm. Honorable Empress Marina. My Lord. Blessed love. Give thanks to the item. The I patient listening and rapid attention. Um, in based on what the the Honorable Empress now is saying with 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 the autopsy from from you know from the 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 field that they are is in um or how you see we could or or how you see it i think is is the question really in, in terms of i'm sorry my lord in terms of obtaining uh, um the result of the autopsy yes well all right i you know i i have you know i don't know about jamaican law so to speak but in general i would think that we would have no legal right we would have no basis mm. to um demand a copy of the autopsy um you know her family members i imagine they're you know they're taking the um they're taking the lead they're the ones who have been provided this information and um you know i don't think we can compel them to share it with us okay i mean we could ask and that's about it but in terms of a legal uh, approach I'm I'm unsure. I'm unsure. So we 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 you see like um because now it's in the hand of her her, her, her family obviously um in, in 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 terms of investigation we still wouldn't be privy to to what is to what is going on. Right. I, I mean, as far as I understand, an, indivi- an investigation was underway. I don't know how far that investigation has gotten. Sister Esther, because there was um, there was something went around taking up a donation to help with the investigation, and I contributed to that. But I've heard nothing further in terms of any update as to the uh, as to the to the investigation. I, I pray the Empress. I am just learning from Sister Dorothy yesterday that um, an honorable priest was um, gathering funds for investigation. I never know anything about that. Yesterday mm-hmm. first, or Friday, I'm hearing about it. I don't know anything about that. And then I'd like to ask you too, um, with, Sister, with Priest Edley, a report was made to the police. Right. Mm-hmm. And... Um, I am hearing now from some brethren that it depends on what was reported. He was reported missing after 42 or how much days, hours, how much hours, right? Mm-hmm. They said when a one is reported missing, that's when mm-hmm. the police could um, act. But they're not, they're not acting, they're not doing anything. So mm-hmm. I am asking the question that after... Um, seeing that it is in the police and shouldn't they be really searching for for priest edley and even not them alone either the community should also can we see what happened to that woman where the police killed that him girlfriend and um mm-hmm. the community came out and even solved it for uh, uh, mm-hmm. um in a way where the man was take the policeman was taken into custody right you know right so shouldn't the police then, even after the even after the far too much days, hours, mm-hmm. with that thing say, they, they 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 would be doing some some serious searching back of the hill or within the mm-hmm. you know that region for yes. the man, but nothing, nothing is being done, not that we know of, mm-hmm. and 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 um really and truly. In a Jamaica, them have a stigma where police allow the gunman them to kill off themselves to make them work easier for them. And in mm. a this, and at this case, is the less care for the rest of our community. Right, right. As even though we are say we 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 
we are our or you know we state article 15 as our nationality ethiopia being our nationality we are still a citizens in jamaica we go to school we work we pay tax yeah. and all these things yeah. so why is it we are different it's not, right. it's not right it's not being given high, high yeah it's not being given highest priority but um the family needs to follow up and the and the bubble shanty family at large too not just the immediate family but the Bubba Shanti family should be following up with the police to first see how far they have gotten with the investigation. So the brethren who was taking up the funds to assist with the investigation, um, you know, or the people, the group. You, uh, you know which brethren are doing? Yes. Um, what we can talk of here. Yeah, yeah you don't have yes, to mention his, 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 his name. Yes, yes. I, yeah, I, I did make a contribution to it as it was sent to me. Are we not hearing yeah. anything? We're not hearing anything. At least I mm. don't hear anything, you know. And I mm -hmm. spoke to Sister Dorothy yesterday and um, a few day, a day before yesterday. And, um, she she don't know what's happening either. But she's the one who made me know that yes. that's what was happening. Yeah, you know? and that was about that was about at least six weeks ago. That are uh, you know at least that I made a donation, my contribution. And, we, and, and I feel like I know it's okay, and we've been having reason. Oh, I don't oh. hear it. It discusses mm -hmm. mm -hmm. part of reasoning with them and mm -hmm. because and I, and it's very few of us know about this. Mm -hmm. So I guess this evening we can get some updates. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, my Lord and Empress. Yes, honorable empresses. <laughs> give God, give thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um it's, it's it's very interesting still that you know, uh, we, we, we're not seeing the same type of uh, urgency into, you know, into 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 us as people. You know, is it, like there's a segregation still, but we we understand what is happening still. Um, any 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 closing thoughts, Honorable Empress Marina? And, you know, I will. Yes, yes, my lord. So, um, one second, please. May I have you? Okay, thank you. Yes, all right. Yes, my lord. So, anyway, I want to um, underscore my commitment and my devotion to Rastafari, to the black race of people. Um, you know, the, the, the monarch of England, he just died a few days ago. And, uh, you know, years ago, even before she, she, she took the crown, she made, a, she made a promise and a commitment. She said that, I don't recall the, you know, the full text, but one thing that stood out in her, in her presentation was that she said, in her declaration actually, she said, I devote my whole life to the uh, you know to the crown i guess and you know to the to, to the com to, to you know to the to british empire well she devoted her whole life to that in a, in a sense you know taking a pledge to white supremacy and i too devote my whole life to black supremacy to the interest to advance in the interest of black people worldwide i devote my whole life to that rastafari yes my lord Yes, and I will Empress give thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and I will Empress um, Esther, your closing thoughts? Yes, my Lord. Um, in, the, in, the, um, in the speech that the so-called king, or the now king of Britain, in the so-called speech he spoke about, Repatriation, um, reparation in Jamaica. They have a reparation committee. They have a ten-point uh, uh, um, agenda with repatriation on it, but they scarcely speak about repatriation. Just reparation. So we are saying, or I am saying, no. Is the time for them put repatriation on the top of the list and deal with it? Because we know we're not dead. Yeah. The price has already been paid. You see it? They owe us. We don't owe 
them nothing. So I am saying it's time for re repatriation. Yeah. Free visa. Mm -hmm. you know, if you can't deal with repatriation right now, free visa then. Mm -hmm. Even though we used to say migration is a national and colonial scheme, but at the same time, King Emmanuel went say, Who can go? I'll make a way for others to come do so. We see a lot of people going, you know. Yeah, it was said that some flights from Nigeria, Ghana was supposed to pass through Jamaica, etc. etc. We don't see that happen. So we are saying now is the time for I and I to work within such unity. Yes. To agitate for this to be fulfilled. Yeah. Freedom Redemption International Record. Jamaica get too small for us now. It can't hold me and to all of what is happening, my lord. We need to go home. Yeah. And we are for ourselves. And we are well done with ourselves. So we have to clean up ourselves and make ourselves right. That we can really do this work. Fulfill the mission. That King Emmanuel left with us. Holy Emmanuel, I still see you. Ja, Rastafari. Rastafari. Blessed. Blessed Lord. Thanks. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, I know. Yes. Empress. Empress. Sorry. Give thanks. Yes, sir. Do oh, give Lord. thanks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great honor and, oh, you know, Lord. a pleasure. And, um, I, I, I hope this don't fall on deaf ears. I know it won't and I just hope you know it, it does fall in the soil and you know spring you know like a seed from the soil you know into a tree that bring it forth fruit you know when it is season you know so I just hope that you know whatever is said today you know once can you know take it and act upon it you know, in 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 a good will, you know, in a good way, because we, you know, we we feel the pain and and we know we know what is happening, you know, we know what is happening. So I just want to take the time out again to you know to thank my 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 two honourable um, elder empress in the order for you know for taking the time out to appeal you know to you know the world at large and particular you know the ones and ones in jamaica you know i want to thank the item for you know taking the time to you know to 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 speak you know to let your voice be heard you know as as to mothers you know Manners and respect, and you know, give thanks. Out of love, my lord, give thanks, Empress Marina. Glorify and give thanks to such contribution, Empress. Yes, I am. It's a honor and a pleasure to yes. be in here. Rastafari. Give Rastafari. It's my love. Rastafari. Yes, honorable family. Um, yeah, man, give thanks for the idea and patient listening and um, rap attention. Um, yeah, man. So, from two honorable empress, long standing um, in the Congress of the Ethiopia Africa Black International um, Congress, you know, the item hear the voice and the appeal from them zin yeah towards what has you know took place with our honorable empress sharon and honorable priest edley zin and rastafari in general so manners and respect reason with me in the comment section and um, till we meet at Negus feet, Holy Emmanuel I, King Celestia, Ja, Rastafari. Subscribe. See you on I just thought the mindset.
smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just thought the mindset.